see if anybody shows up. It's kind of an odd time to go live. Hey, Firebite. How are you this afternoon? Windblade. Yeah, I apologize. I'm testing a new webcam setup. And uh, so I figured Dylan's gone. Lisa's at work. So I'm here by myself at the house. Might as well try this out. TF Cannon Fodder. Hello. Good afternoon, Rudy. Vincent. It is Friday, isn't it? I've been off all week. They've shut down schools in my area because of the old China virus. So I took this week off and my wife's taking next week off. Hey, Cato, I'm getting ready to give you a shout out. First things first, how's the camera looking? I'm trying out something brand new. I discovered an app where I can actually turn my cell phone into a webcam. Hey, Hoist. Got about 12 people here. Engineer Hoist says this looks good. Yeah, I was getting ready to send you guys a message. My insomnia kicked in last night, so I'm just searching Google and found out that I could turn the cell phone into a webcam, and I think it's doing really good, much better than my other one where I have to get the wire just right to uh, make sure it's filming. And, of course, I'm using the my microphone instead of the phone's mic. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> I'm not. I was going to give myself epilepsy. Good, we're clear. Well, not only is this live video to kind of test out my webcam, I was going to show you guys the haul that I've acquired this week. Now, you saw the Nemesis Prime review. Nemesis came Monday. Uh, I just did a review on Earthrise Megatron. He, he arrived Monday as well. But I got all these other goodies that I just kind of wanted to show off. Patriot Prime Reviews, can you say hoo-ah, please? By all means, I can say hoo-ah. I used to be, uh, I was always told that I said hoo-ah like most people use punctuation. So Robert Hardy, for you, hoo-ah! I shook my whole table here. Hey, like that? I actually grew this out for Halloween, and I decided, what the hell, I'm going to keep it. My Michael McDonald Brock. That's funny. Hua. Actually, it's spelled H O O A H. Not a thing. You haven't missed anything yet other than me just shooting the shit until I get some people in here. But we shall start going over things. And I got one item in this pile, something I've been wanting for years. So I'm really excited to show it off and get a review of it. Oh, wait. Quick question. What's better, light piping or painted eyes? I get a lot of people prefer painted eyes because they are visible in darkness. I love good light piping on a figure. What did I do with, like this guy, for example. This figure right here has some of the absolute best light piping. You guys can probably see it right now. But the light piping only really works if you've got light coming from the background. I mean, if it's in a dark shelf, you're not going to see anything. So I it, it depends for me. I love light piping, but a good paint job on the eyes also works. All right. Hey, Adamanti Adamantium. I can't even talk right now. Let's get on with the haul because I've got to go pick up Dylan in about 30 minutes. So first off, hey, what's going on, guys? Patriot Prime here once again with a live show showing off a new webcam and my haul for the week. And starting off, I have a big shout out and thank you to Kato's Collection, who's here in the chat somewhere, for tracking down this NECA. Terminator 2 T-1000 motorcycle cop figure. I have been wanting to add this to my Terminator 2 collection. This thing looks so good. I already have the regular T-1000, but the motorcycle version has different arms, different sculpting. And what's really cool, he has a little teeny tiny photograph of John Connor. So 
I can't wait to get this in front of the camera. So, Cato, thank you so much. And a bot I have been waiting on and looking for for years. I was actually almost ready to drop over $100 on this figure during the summer. And then I lost the eBay auction, thank God, because they re-released it uh, last month. And that is the NECA Terminator Police Assault. This is the Terminator that everyone is, that's really well known. His black leather jacket, gray shirt. This is when he attacks the police station in the very first Terminator. He's got his gargoyle sunglasses look, the damaged eye and a damaged head that shows after he was hit by the uh, tanker truck in the original film. I have been wanting this figure for so long because I have the, let me see if I can reach him, the Technoir Terminator, which is how he looked through the first half of the film. But man, I am so happy to finally have this one, the leather clad sunglasses Terminator. So I cannot wait to do another NECA review for you guys. Those aren't very popular on my channel, but I have fun doing them because I love looking up the different movie clips and kind of blending it all in together. I'll be back. Exactly. Well, thanks, Jay Lee. Hey, Tadamus. Everybody else coming in here. 22 viewers now. All right. So that's it for the NECA figures. Now let's show off some bots. And the first bot I'm going to show off is one that I found on Amazon.com. It was $2 more than what he was on Hasbro Pulse, but I missed him the first time around because those 3D renders of him, I thought he's just another repaint and I wasn't going to pick him up. Then after seeing everybody else do reviews on him, I'm like, this guy looks awesome, but his price just shot way the hell up. I wasn't even planning on getting him. And then just one of these nights I couldn't sleep. I'm on Amazon. Normal price was $19.99. Amazon had him on sale for $22.99. And that is Generation Selects Rotor Storm. Get this guy in frame here. Now, when they originally showed this guy off, he was um, just shown as a repaint of Spinister. It didn't show that he had a brand new head sculpt. So I was uh, quite pleased to get this one and add him to my collection. And my good buddy Larkin, everybody knows Larkin's Lair here on YouTube, is sending me the 3D printed turbine weapons for him. So once I get those weapons, I'm going to do the full review of Rotor Storm and the weapons. So next up is another purchase from Amazon.com. I have to get my little Toy Hacks stickers out first. I have a Toy Hacks flashbacks of Generation 1, forgot his name, Trailbreaker coming up. I got a Trailbreaker a couple weeks ago from a local toy shop in great condition other than the stickers and a little bit of chromeware. So I'm going to get him looking 100%. But another purchase from Amazon.com is the Transformers War for Cybertron Galactic Odyssey Collection Biosphera Clones. I am so tickled to get these guys finally. I've had Cloud Raker for about two years because well, everybody had that set. It came out at Walgreens. This guy was in the exclusive. Uh, Fastlane was in that exclusive set that is in friggin' astronomical prices now, was so happy to see that they finally released these clones. So got these from Amazon the other day. And as far as I know, they're still available about $24.99. So that is that. Next up is a figure I had no intention on buying whatsoever. It just, it didn't appeal to me. I thought I don't need this version of this figure. And then Toy Hacks comes up with this conversion set that just looks absolutely amazing. So I have to go on Toy Hacks and I buy the decal set, run to Amazon to pick up the dead Optimus Prime. Now, Amazon just had this guy on sale for $34.99. That sale ended the day that I saw the Toy Hacks set. So I'm like, shit, I'm gonna have to pay $50 for this figure. So I decided to dig a little deeper and got a used dead prime. And the only problem is the box is all jacked up. You can see the tape up here. There's a barcode here. Ah, what's that say? Inspected and repackaged. So the box is beat up. The box looks like shit, but dead prime in here on the inside 
looks great. He's 100% complete. And actually, this figure really doesn't look that bad. It's almost like holding a black and white image. The collar, or lack thereof, is really, really cool. So I'm debating on giving this guy a full review, then doing the toy hacks thing, or just doing the toy hacks thing itself. I've got so many figures to review right now. And I do like how it includes the Matrix in full color. So kind of a nice contrast against this black and white figure. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to converting this guy. That's going to be a really fun toy hacks review to do. So that is that. And wrapping things up, I have a big shout out to a subscriber and friend of the channel who donated the next three figures to me. So Delmas Dugan, thank you so much. I appreciate it highly. I sent Delmas a t-shirt here as a, you know, a thank you, but he just has went out of his way to make sure I get figures to review for you guys. And the first figure he sent me was Battlemaster Double Crosser. And I think uh, this is actually going to be the last Battlemaster that we get for a while because Kingdom, I don't believe, has any. So this is a pretty weird looking two-headed Autobot, or no, two-headed Decepticon. I keep thinking about the two-headed Autobot double header from Generation 1. That was a pretender. So looking forward to showing this guy off to you guys. He looks like he's going to be a intersection. He's got ports all over him. Next up, we have Smokescreen. I know everybody got Smokescreen first, then Blue Streak, then Prowl. I'm going in reverse. So I, I found one of these at Walmart right after Delmas told me one was heading my way. So I got one and sent to my buddy, Bert, the Stormtrooper. So thank you so much for Smokescreen here. And lastly is Transformers Generation Selects. Let me get it open. Tiger Track or Yellow Side Swipe. I had no idea who in the hell this figure was until I had to look him up on the uh, TF Wiki. And he was a... Um, e-hobby exclusive from a few years ago. Doesn't really have any fiction to him, but he looks really cool. I like the fact he comes with all the weapons. Sideswipe originally just came with the shoulder launcher and the little missile. Red Alert just came with a gun. He actually has the shoulder launcher, missile, and gun. So I think that's really, really cool. And Sideswipe, Siege Sideswipe's a great figure. And um, that's it. That is my haul. So that's one, two, three... Four or five, if you count the twins each. Six, is that it? Seven. So there is seven up and coming bot transformer reviews. Then I've got two Terminators. I am so thrilled with this one. You have no idea. And uh, I just have a, another package on the way from Entertainment Earth that I ordered freaking two weeks ago. In stock items still hasn't shipped. It's got uh, Run Amuck. Hoyt, not Hoist, Trailbreaker. Hell, what's the other one? Run them up, Trailbreaker, Sunstreaker, and another Fast Track on the way. I've been waiting on that for freaking ever. I ordered that on the 4th, and it's still not here. And this is in stock items. So hurry the hell up and get here. So that's it. That is my haul video. That is my webcam test. And that's it. So what's up with you guys? Happy Friday. Everybody still surviving the apocalypse? I got to get some more masks. I only own two masks. I have a uh, Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees mask and a Mad Max and Morton Joe mask. That's it. Ah, hello, Bert the Stormtrooper. I just mentioned your name. Oh, that sucks. Hey, Bert, check it out. I got the T-800 police station assault. Just got him half hour ago. He looks awesome. I can't wait him to get him up there on the shelf. G1 reflector coming. That's a good figures. A good figures. Thanks, Taddy. It's my Android. You, you came in late. I discovered an app that turns my Android phone into my webcam. I've been using this. Amazon.com piece of shit that <laughs> it, it, you're, you're doing live and all of a sudden it does this disco thing. There was a short in the wire or something. 
Hey, PPR. Oh, my God. Is there any chance you want to review a G1 Overlord? I recently bought one. It's almost complete, but it's in great shape. Has the box. Interested? Yes. Oh, my gosh. That's still my holy grail figure. If I could get a G1 Overlord. Oh, my God. 2020 is just... Keeps bringing the hits, doesn't it? A local alt-rock radio channel switched to country. Being from West Virginia, I hate country music. I'm a, I'm a rocker. You can tell by my intro on my channel. I'm sorry, man. That sucks. That sucks. <laughs> Hoist and I share the same uh, thoughts on that. Let's see. Trying to scroll up. I'm still trying to get used to this stream yard. I keep calling it steam yard. Stream yard. Man, good plans for the weekend. I have a feeling I'm going to be house cleaning and getting decorated for Christmas. Yes, yes. Where is this? The Kingdom Leaked Image. I actually posted these or shared these on my Patriot Prime Facebook page. We're getting Inferno. We're getting Ultra Magnus. We're getting Huffer, Air Razor, and freaking Dinobot. I can't wait. Can you show us Back to the Future? As in... Take me away. I don't mind. Better promise me I'll get back in time. Hey, man, don't feel bad. I only have one rock channel in this area, and we just got it a year ago. See, I agree. I will not put my tree up until after Thanksgiving. I've always done that. I think Dylan wants his inflatables up. Ah, it's the, it's the fire truck, but I would love to have the ant too. He's got one of my favorite lines in the entire Beast Wars series. Pain is my friend. Allow me to introduce you to him. I love it. Thank you. You know, it took me forever to find that damn Doc Brown costume. Right as I was wrapping up the video and I'm going to do my outro, I thought, I've got the best idea. And it probably took me a damn hour to dig that costume out. For the royalty. Yes, my queen. I tried watching Beast Wars again the other day with Dylan and his interest waned after 15 minutes. I got that series when I was in Iraq. And I mean, I watched episode one through the very end and it... It's so good to watch it that way. But if you go on uh, toyhacks.com site, the the uh, d decal set for this guy is called Monster. He was inspired by the Dark Awakening episode of G1. So he gives this prime this eerie green uh just like like some kind of zombie Quintesson Prime. It looks awesome. And he, there's uh, decals for the inside of the trailer and everything. So I cannot wait to get that. Bert, have you started applying your decals to the Seekers yet? Or is your hand still jacked up? Yes, I just mentioned that. I just saw that probably about an hour ago. What molds from Kingdom do you think will be repaints in Netflix line wave three? Uh, I don't know. What, what I didn't understand, where is he? Uh, he's over on the shelf, is you got the Nemesis Prime spoiler pack, Netflix, all that. Nemesis Prime wasn't in uh, uh Netflix series. I bet we'll have a repaint of Beast Wars Megatron. What was that Autobot he was? Uh, Beast or was it Beast Machines? T Rex or something like that? 
There we go. A depth charge. Yes. Yes. I just watched the newest episode of The Mandalorian. Probably the same reason we got another Starscream. We got another Megatron. We got another Optimus Prime. Hasbro, man. <laughs> they got us. They got us by the shortens. That is the way. Ooh, yes. Rampage. Yeah, Bert decided to bust a plate over his head. He got tired of doing reviews. He wanted to be all Frankenstein-y looking. Hey, everybody, this is Bert Stormtrooper, and I hate this plate. <laughs> Uh, Alex from Toy Hacks, just as of last night, started his new podcast channel. He wants, it's a YouTube channel, but he's interested in doing podcasts where he wants to interview people from all across the fandom. So I watched last night. It was about an hour long, pretty good show. He actually interviewed one of his fellow designers. So it was pretty cool getting uh, their take on everything. Twenty nine people in the chat. I'm impressed for a four thirty on a Friday. I'm trying to see if I got any other. That's about it. Oh, I did. I don't know if I'll review these or not, but I finally got the entire Masters of the Universe wave from Walmart. Well, not the entire wave. I didn't get Prince Adam and the Sky Sled or Sky Striker, or whatever the hell it's called. But I got Battle Cat. And all the figures, I haven't opened them up. I have them all thumbtacked to the wall in a nice display over there in the corner. Quick Strike would be cool. You know, I was never, I like G.I. Joe the comic book. I like G.I. Joe the cartoon, but I was never into G.I. Joe the toys. My brother was. He had every one of them. I think a couple years ago, he sold his entire collection for about 5000 bucks. He actually ended his collection. He got the USS flag. He had that for a few months and then just finally decided, okay, I've got everything. I've got no room for it. Sold it all. Welcome all the new folks to the chat. Uh, I was just kind of showing off some goodies I've recently got. But I think, the, like I said, the thing I'm most excited about having is this Terminator figure. This, of course, came out in 1984, the same as the Transformers. And just between the Terminator, the Transformers just solidified my love of robots. Not to mention Linda Hamilton was so hot in this movie. Even 10-year-old me was amazed by Linda Hamilton's hotness. Yeah, he sold the flag. I'm not sure if it was 100% complete, but he had a lot of it. Any dollar store robots soon. You know, I actually, I was at Dollar, what was it? Yeah, Dollar General today after I dropped Dylan off. I swung by to grab some snacks to watch The Mandalorian. And they had these larger, crappy Transformers, and they had a sound wave, and it actually looked pretty good. And I almost got him, except for the fact it was 10 bucks. And I'm like, I just bought all this, and I just paid all that Entertainment Earth money for those coming in. So I thought, I'll just save that $10 for something else, not to mention all the pre-orders I've got on the way. Ah, uh, Transformer crossover shattered glass for Ectotron and Gigawatt. It would be Megawatt? Gigawatt. That's how it was in the movie. I debated over and over again if I was going to call him Gigawatt or Gigawatt in my review. I thought either way I say it, some asshat on YouTube is going to make a comment about it, but nobody did, surprisingly. 
Cato, thanks for stopping by. Uh, once again, thank you so much for finding this guy for me. I really appreciate it. I hate not having a damn target anywhere near me. So it's guys like you, my buddy. Bert's hooked me up too with his target. Thank you so much. I don't have an Aldi either, but I've seen that. Uh, Aldi's like a grocery store, right? I think I got one about 40 miles from me. I've got Kroger, Walmart, Ollie's, and that's it. I'm liking Amazon's pre-orders because you can pre-order on Amazon and you don't pay a thing. And then as you know, time goes by, you can go to the grocery store, buy an Amazon card, and uh, you can just put bits and pieces uh, on your pre-orders and pay over time. I think uh, my last pre-order that came in um, only ended up, it was like a hundred and some dollars, only ended up paying eight something by the time it rolled around. Love Transformers Prime didn't care much for the toys. I The only toy I have is uh, the Voyager Optimus Prime. All right, this is a good one. This is one I want so bad. Well, first, Kit. We need Knight Rider. That'd be an easy repaint of somebody. But I would love to see Road Warrior Transformers. I think that would look so badass. Since we're in the apocalypse right now, let's have post-apocalyptic Transformers. I think that would be so freaking awesome. A James Bond trans, that'd look cool. Like a whole James Bond series, or maybe the 1989 Tim Burton Batmobile. That'd be cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, kit pack with car and Goliath. You got to have Goliath with that. Right. Where did I lost this? I lost this. Airwolf and the A Team van. Yes. Blue Thunder, Street Hawk. So many. So many good vehicles from back in the day. God, the 80s was awesome. Everything sucks now. I'm old. Cartoons suck. <laughs> Toys are great, though. Toys are awesome. Let's see. Adamantium Matrix. Hasbro Pulse has several figures restocked. I actually just ordered the uh, Quintesson Pit of Judgment. Oh, I've got a funny story for you guys. Uh, I have been slowly, you can see behind me here, that Star Wars shelf is being put in storage. I'm just running out of room for Transformers. So I'm slowly getting this. I'm not sure how I'm going to rearrange it because I want to leave some Star Wars out and maybe add some more shelves over here on the far corner. So anyway, I've got the Quintesson Judge sitting on this shelf right here with my Megatrons and Combiners. And Dylan comes in here the other day and he's looking real funny at the shelf and goes, Daddy, I don't like where you put the janitor. I'm like, the janitor? He says, yeah, the janitor. He doesn't look good with Megatron. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? I didn't say what the hell are you talking about to my kid, but like, what are you talking about? And he goes, this guy right here with all the arms. And he was pointing at the Quintesson judge and he was calling him the janitor. So I just, I thought that was funny. Bert says he's about to get off work. Bert, I'm not going to be on here for about five more minutes because I got to go pick up Dylan. He's uh, at a friend's house, and I actually should have left about 10 minutes ago. So maybe, we'll, maybe we can do one this weekend, tomorrow night. I'll, I'll talk to you. But I never miss an opportunity to talk to my buddy Bert. He and I, I have been amazed at how good of friends we've become because of this YouTube thing. All right. Well, I, like I said, I have got to go. I appreciate all you guys hopping in. This is always fun. I have a blast doing this. Even if I'm not talking to somebody else, I'm, I'm just talking to you guys. This is fun. You guys are why I do this. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I mean, you are the reason that here I am just over three years and I'm at 7,000 subs right now. Thank you. Each one of you. Thank you. 
so much. And I'm going to get off here and uh, go pick up my kid. The rest of you guys have a great Friday. Stay safe out there. And one final time, hoo -ah! I hate that awkward pause. There's got to be an easier way to turn this thing off. You guys take care.